Yeah. I know you see it. I know you see it. This that 2021 Ting Ting. Hey, no cap, I ain't rode it like four months, man. I've been trying to get this bike right. I've been buying all the parts online. COVID got shipping delays. We finally here. The build is finally done. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Throne Cycles. They blessed me with the new frames, got me back up and running. Some of the same parts are still on this bike, but then I got a lot of new parts as well. I'm going to give y'all a little walkthrough of all my new goodies, man. I hope y'all rocking with it. And if you not, it's all good because this shit built for me. First, I'm going to start off with the bars. I don't know if y'all seen those videos where people are like doing bunny hops or they about to do a willy and they whole bar snap in half. I ain't doing that. That ain't gonna happen to me. I'm not about to go through that. I got some motorcycle bars, but really they're MTB bars, a motorcycle brand that makes MTB bar, downhill MTB. So I got Pro Taper bars, three inch rods. I also got the Pro Taper headset. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. You gotta get the combo, man. The first person I actually saw with these bars was Vegas Pedal Blocks. So shout out to him for the inspiration. I saw him with them bars and I'm like, bro, I gotta get those on my bike. That's the style that I want. Just learn from my mistakes. There's been times where I wanted to save some money and I went and bought some cheap shit. And next thing you know, my shit breaking after like a month or even after a week, no matter what it is, it might be, I don't know, it might be uh, the brake lever or cheap inner tubes or whatever. Don't cheap out. Always buy top quality stuff if you can. If you can't afford it, you should save up for it and just try to take, you know, take good care of the stuff you got right now. I know y'all can see it from this side. I got a Shimano disc brake set on my bike. These forks are disc brake compatible, so I was like, why not put disc brakes on my bike? Because I also want to do some downhill riding. I don't know where I'm going to find any downhill trails, but now that I have disc brakes on the front, I'm going to look for them for sure. The rims, come on now. I got the MTX Sun Ringo 33. Only saw two people with these rims on their goon. The first person I saw with these rims was Jacob Santos, and then Block Boy Fame got him. And then I was like, man, I really be wilding on my bike. Like, I'm really crazy. Like, that's why I had to upgrade my parts and get some of the best stuff. I actually had to buy the rim by itself, then buy hubs, and then get the hubs laced with the rim, which is a whole process. I ain't never done it before, but the experience was dope. We got the Shirley hubs, 36 hole, front and rear. They've been around for a long time. There's mixed reviews. Some people like them, some people don't. I'm gonna put them to the test. And after a few months, I'll let you guys know if I like them or not. Next, I got the Box V-Brake. Box is a really good brand. I like them. They're responsive and I mean, they last long. The quality is there. Like I said, don't cheap out on your brakes. If you're gonna be doing wheelies, swerving, jumping off stuff and just wilding on your bike, get some good brakes. It ain't nothing to spend a little bit more than what you already spent on your brakes. You gotta buy pads, you gotta buy the lever. You might as well just get the whole set. The fork is still, I mean, I'm gonna keep the fork regardless. I still got the Fox forks, but I did switch out the decals. I took off the old decals and I got new decals. As y'all can see, that's a profile sprocket. I had to get profile. The last sprocket that I had, it bent on me. So I upgraded my sprocket. I got top of the line quality. Everybody know about profile and it's white to match the forks. Chain, cam C, a half link chain, got a profile C clamp. Next thing, the pivotal seat. s and seat is fire, it works for me. The last seat I've got broke on me. The reason why it took so long to get these parts is because of COVID, obviously. COVID has delayed the whole world, pretty much. Like, the rear hub, that hub took me six weeks to get on eBay, and it came from the UK. Nobody in the US had this hub online, and if they did, it was sold out. And on top of that, I had to wait like another month for my sprocket, my profile sprocket. Apparently, the white sprockets are made to order. They don't have stock of those like that. So, and when they do, they sell out. So, I had to wait four weeks for my sprocket as well. My rims also took over a month to get. So my MTX rims took over a month to get. My fucking sprocket took over a month to get. And my rear hub took over a month to get. It took four months to get this bike to where it's at right now. And you know, I'm pretty happy, I'm proud of it. It was all worth it in the end. That's the tour of my bike. I hope y'all like it. Let me know in the comments if y'all like this bike over my last bike. If you like this video, make sure you like, drop a comment, and you subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Stay tuned for more videos because I'm not stopping no time soon. Never ever in my life am I gonna stop dropping content. This is what I do. This is what I love. Make sure y'all pop out the Secret Sunday tomorrow. It's gonna be lit. DM me for the address if y'all want the address.